Alright guys. Alright guys, we are six minutes away from the beginning of this race. We are just waiting for Antonio to speak. Tuan. Alright, we do have testing with Antonio. Testing with Antonio. Go Antoine, go. Alright, who's here? Who's here? Anybody in here on that live chat? Let's hear it if you're on the live chat. Send me a message if you're on the live chat. I doubt anyone's here, so uh, we're going to get this show on the road here. Just because we can. Antonio, are you ready for this? Well, here we go. Round number one of the World Offline Stock Car Title Ultra Sun Drop Nationwide Series. Wait, can you see it? This is a reverse Skype call. We are trying yeah, something brand new. I've already started, dude. Do I need to wait up? Okay. We're just waiting for Antonio. I'm just going to check my Facebook real quick. Hey, I'll, I'll just do it later. You tell me how to do it. Alright, let's get this but show on the road. Dude, stop typing. Stop. 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 Oh, I got two messages. Where is it? Is that Homestead? I don't want to go to Homestead. I want to go somewhere else. Too bad. We're doing round one from from Homestead. I do not have time to restart. I have a plan. Yeah. And which I will reveal before the end of the episode of this race. I will let the world know what it is. Yeah, I can hear you. Why? 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 Oh, it was just Angelina, but I do not care about her. No offense. All right, can you see the race cars right now? Okay. Tell me, is, is it like sketching out like they're jumping or anything, or is it just straight up? Like a race, race. You can. They're not doing anything. Okay. They're not like skipping around or anything. They're not disappearing. No. Okay. Good. Cause w this is a test run, guys. This is a race that we're actually doing, but this is also a test because this is a new thing that we are trying here uh, on the World Offline Stock Car Title Ultra Series. Something that I'm probably going to be the only one to do, but. It will get intense. As here we go. Sorry about the shaky camera. Oh crap! I should probably turn the volume down on the race cars. Okay, so. You messing up? No. Yeah, sort of. All right, so we're gonna go through our front row. Joe Cole is on the pole in the number zero Chevrolet with P2 London in the double zero Napa Auto Parts Toyota Camry starting second. You. Third. Oh. Sorry, and William Duncan. Monica Carroll. Brianna, Brianna Carroll. <laughs> Is that Brianna Carroll? Yeah, that's Brianna. I know. It's because I recorded this already, and then this is just what it does. It was bored. Starting fifth in the number 10 Camping World Toyota Camry, it is Taylor Zimmerman with Cameron Gilson driving the driving the number 12 Avis We Try Harder Dodge Charger from sixth position. I give you the greatest two people that you could possibly get. Then we go. Starting seven. Ready? Monica Carroll pilots the number 21 Budweiser Chevrolet with James Gilson, the other front row motorsports car in the number 22 Supercuts.com Dodge Charger. It will not be like this next week, guys. I'm sorry about this. Dude, 
dude, you know. DJ Kerker rolls off in the next row. Outside of him is number 28, Kibbles and Bits, Chevrolet of Zach Campbell. Joseph Clark and DJ Becker, the other driver of Purple Lightning Racing, is the number 33 Camping World Machine of Devin Becker. Moving on to the next row, we got John Davis. And Molly DePenez. I did Molly D. Okay. Zach Golbeck runs the number 40 fast and all Dodge Charger. With Mitch McDonald in the number four, JVC Evero Chevrolet. I can barely hear you as Marcus Ricardo and Darren Mason are in the next row. As you guys see, we just run through the order real quick, and uh, once they get going, we will begin with the. Uh, we will begin with the. As they begin to roll off, we will go down through everyone who has a roof cam for this race. Each week, I have a special order on how I do my starting lineup. I divide each race up into heats. From the heats, I take everybody, and it's a very complicated way of doing stuff. I'm lagging. I'm lagging. The race is yeah, lagging. No, this is just how it recorded. As here, we're gonna go with all of our drivers with hood cat this with. Is shit, man. This <laughs> is complete shit. We have Joe Cole. He pilots the race. Girl car. number zero. I'm serious. I can barely see the car. Can we just do this over Skype? This is over Skype. It's not going to make a difference. Then just go with it. As the final car with a on board is Jacob Clements, who had a very impressive off season run. Boogity 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 boys, let's go offline racing. Joe Cole off to a commanding start here. William Duncan, he wants second away from Pichu London. Here comes Duncan. He wants the lead away from Joe Cole. Taylor Zimmerman follows close behind with Connor Breton on his back bumper. Three side wide. Side, all the way back. Here in Homestead is the tank car. A full way in the second row. Connor Breton falling behind. But Pichu London lost momentum. Three wide with Breton and Brianna Br Br Carroll. They almost collide together there for the third position. The Dr. Pepper 250 is underway and has been now for just a while. Lap number two, it has been all Joe Cole so far. Still a little bit of three wide action with Pichu London up on the outside groove. Connor Breton, he's back there in a fourth position. Brianna Carroll, it'll be the battle of the sisters right behind Breton. The sisters, Mika on the inside, Brianna on the outside, the Mikasuki, number one Chevrolet 
on the outside. Take it three wide earlier with Connor Breton and Pichu London as Monica brings the Budweiser number 21 Chevrolet up a position. Five single file looks to make it the top six, seven, eight now. Single file. Pichu London finally gets that double zero back to the inside group underneath Devin Smith. Here comes Tony Blazer. Down the back straightaway, Tony Blazer's on the inside. Tony Blazer on the inside of Devin Smith all over the back bumper of Peachy Devin. London. What? I'm gonna leave you. Why? I'm gonna leave you hanging. You're gonna leave me hanging? Yes, I am. Whatever. Bye. Bye. Oh crap, this might have ended up the race. I'm sorry if this messes up the race. <laughs> As Pichu London is still on the screen, Devin Smith right behind him, Brianna Carroll right ahead of him. They have started to file in single file. All the way back to uh, Joseph Clark and Cameron Gilson back there battling it out right behind Devin, right behind Tony Blazer. Jordan Davis brings the number 36 Shark Energy Drink Dodge Charger. Charging to the front, but he has company to in front of him, and now is outside. And Joseph Clark in the number thirty-two dollar General Toyota Camry wants this one like no other event there is. Who will be the first winner of the World Offline Stock Car Sun Drop Nationwide Series? Cameron Gilson on the high line. Becker's going to go to the inside. Here comes Zach Goldick to the inside of DJ Kirker with the number 41 Dodge Charger of uh, Marcus Ricallo right back there. New series coming out from this channel for the World Offline Stock Car title as I believe we have one new one. It is all road courses. Tomorrow, catch Phoenix. Gonna be a great race right there, live from Phoenix. William Duncan still battling for second as Zimmerman goes to the inside of Connor Breton for third. Here comes the battle of the sisters again. Brianna this time on the inside, Monica on the outside. Who will get the edge as they come to complete lap number seven of 27, which will give them the final 20 laps. So far, Zimmerman's going to fall back into fourth with the Battle of the Sisters continuing right behind him. Brianna with the edge. Pichu London right behind her. It is Monica on the outside groove right up through there. Just a couple drivers on the outside groove. Monica Carroll is one of them as Pichu London finally going to creep back on the inside looking for a battle to the front. Inside of Monica on the back bumper of Brianna. The number doubles. Oh, Napa Auto Parts Toyota Camry charges to the front. Now to the inside of Brianna. As we get ready for the first flyby of the evening. I believe there was there's supposed to be four in this race. The first one is about to happen here as we will see what is going on for battles through this race. Here they go. It is flyby time. Monica Carroll, Devin Smith on the outside, DJ Kirker on the outside. Galligan on the outside. Trivets on the outside. Back there in the back as we are gonna go on board with Jacob Clements battling from the rear of the field. Three wide battle. Darren Smith on the inside a little bit further back there.
the Dr. Pepper 250 proudly brought to you by Sony, by Livestream Podcaster, by JVC, and of course, Dr. Pepper. When you're in the mood for a thirst-quenching drink, you grab a Dr. Pepper. Also brought to you by Element TV, Xbox 360, and Logitech. As right now, Jacob Clement, he is currently running the 81 STP Retro Machine in 20th. On the back bumper of Luke Walker, I believe. Let me just check right here. No, it is Leah Walker in the number 66 Atreus Chevrolet. As our second flyby happens, and there's a weird camera angle for them to do a flyby, but that's that they wanted to do it. Sorry about the delay here as we go back on Joe Cole. Still your leader. He has led this one from the beginning, has not looked back. We are 12 of 27 in. When they cross the line, it will be the final 15 laps that they will have. William Duncan on the back Joe Cole, that Dish Network number 06, Ford Fusion, wants the Race Girl Zero Chevrolet to be behind him. He wants white in his rearview mirror. He wants clear skies ahead, but right now, he does not have that. Third flyby of the night. It is the battles on the inside. Ben Powell's down there. Aaron Mason's down there. Zach Goldbeck, Hunter Davis right there. Marcus Ricallo's on the outside. Here comes Davis, Kirker, and Clark. Uh, the 22 of James Gilson. Not that many drivers on the inside as we get a closer towards the back. Peter Savagno. Savagno. Peter S. Peter S. is in the back. Some of you guys came up with some really weird names. <laughs> Some scrape marks on the wall there. Here comes Joe Cole Homestead. We will start right here. 36 races. We will end it in Daytona. Under the lights. 20 of the brand newly repaved Daytona. We have cut the invitational and we have just gone all 36. Duncan wants the inside. Could Breton possibly take over a few positions here? Could Zimmerman get up there? Brianna Carroll's back there. Pichu London, Monica Carroll, Tony Blazer, they're all right back there. They easily have a chance at winning this. Fourth flyby right about now. Nobody on the outside. Uh, Zach Goldbeck's out there. It's pretty much single file as there goes the number four JVC Ever JVC Evero Chevrolet of Mitch McDonald. <laughs> Joe Cole in the number zero race girl Chevrolet. Fifteen in out of twenty seven. Just three more until the final ten laps.
Joe Cole continues to lead this one as we come down. 11 laps remain. William Duncan still in second. Connor Breton still there in third. Zimmerman's fourth as the top four start to break away. The top five are still single file with Pichu London finally shoved up to the outside by Monica Carey. She wants the inside. She wants the feeling of fifth place. Ah, oh, sixth place. Sorry. And my furnace just kicked on because it is cold in here, so I'm sorry about that. Tony Blazer is currently ninth. Joseph Clark is in seventh. Devin Smith is tenth. It's pretty much the top five. Stay the same. Pichulon in eighth. Monica Carroll's up to sixth as they go down here through, I believe, three and four coming down to get nine to go. Great battles throughout today. No caution. Caution free here at the Homestead Motor Speedway. As next week, we will come to you live from Pocono. Pennsylvania going to be one of our greater tracks tomorrow. Great event that we got planned for that. It will be one exciting race. These drivers have never gotten to feel Pocono in a car like this before. So what will it do to them? What will it do to us? What is going to happen? We have not tried this. We have not tested there. The only places we have tested are Talladega and Bristol. We have been to Talladega, Bristol, and one other place. I cannot remember where it is. Oh, uh, we have started to test at Pocono. We did like one lap there. That was it. No one really got anything. So we do not know if tire wear is going to be a factor. A factor is it has not been that much of a factor here today. Top six come across your screen. Still single file all the way back there. Starting to break away from everybody else in the field right now. I would like to apologize. As tire wear seems to be the problem for Connor Breeden. He's going to slip up and... Giving Taylor Zimmerman a little bit of room towards the back. Not that much. As I was saying, I am sorry for Tony Blazer's comments earlier on in the event. He will probably not be broadcasting with me anymore, so I will be a solo commentator here on the World Offline Stock Car Title uh, Ultra Sun Drop Nationwide Series. As we finally get the microphone to work, after all day of trying, it took one thing that I had to do, and I did not think about that until just a few moments before we began. The race girl number zero, Chevrolet, leads them once again. Next time by, we will get five to go. Single file pretty far back here in this event. Not really that much going on. Of course, the 33 Camping World Chevrolet, Devin Becker, he passed us in practice. Joe Cole was second, and right now, Joe Cole will run here in the lead as Connor Breton starts to slip up again, giving a little room to Taylor Zimmerman. But not enough for Zimmerman to recapture anything at see Joe Cole start to pull away from William Duncan, but not by much. Duncan could catch him back up here into the corners. Don't forget to miss the stars of the uh, World Offline Stock Car Title Ultra Nationwide Sundrop Nation coming to Pocono. We will pack them up tonight, get them there by tomorrow, get everything situated the way that we have to go through all the qualifying, and we will get you your race result. We will get you your race live. Who's going to be the pole sitter? Well, we're just going to have to find out. We have plenty of night races on the schedule. We will go to Charlotte here in just a few we a few days under a night race. Going to be a good one there as next season. The possibility for a change of 
models could be occurring what does that mean for you guys what does that mean for all the drivers will we end up seeing these same cars running it will we see new cars we do not know what is going to happen yet we are discussing this for season number two as this is season one if you guys do not know that Joe Cole leads them around coming to get the three to go for Joe Cole. He has dominated this race so far. Will he win it? If he doesn't, that would be sort of an upset, but that would be good for Duncan. The Dish Network 064 Fusion William Duncan. He wants to capture in the Zero Race Girl Chevrolet of Joe Cole, but it's not going to happen. Duncan starting back there. Breton's right behind him. Zimmerman and then the other Carol. Clark is in 7th. Smith 8th. Blazer is 9th with Gilson. Cameron Gilson in 10th. Who will win the Sun Drop 250? 26 in. Next time by, we are going to get the white flag. Joe Cole. He has this one in the bag unless something drastic happens. We are going to go on board with him as he will take the white flag to give him the feeling of taking the white flag and the checkered. Running order still the same here as... Duncan slips up. Here comes Breeden to the inside. He wants second place. Here we go on board with Joe Cole. The number zero race girl Chevrolet for on his way to a possible victory. He's not up in the high groove. He's hugging the inside, but if he hits that curb, could it bite him? Man, I cannot wait to see these guys on a road course. Down through the final two corners. Joe Cole leads them. William Duncan is second. Connor Breton third. Taylor Zimmerman fourth with Brianna Carroll in fifth. Monica Carroll sixth. Joseph Clark seventh. Devin Smith eighth. Tony Blazer ninth. Cameron is 10th and your winner Joe Cole round number one of the World Offline Stock Car title Sun Drop Nation wants to use Dr. Pepper 250 at Homestead Miami Speedway is under is done as what happened to Connor Breton to go from 3rd to 5th in one lap his car is still on the track he did not spin out as we are going to take you instant replay here in a couple minutes Next, we're going to go instant replay to show you got well, not really instant replay, but we're going to rewind it and show you guys exactly how he got back there as Blazer keeps the car out on the track. As here we go, rewind to see what exactly happened. It looks like he actually, I do not know what happened as we are going to go down the back straight away. Zimmerman got around him. Carroll got around him. Joseph Clark was coming to get around him. Yeah. As here we go, down into the corner. As we're going to ride along with Monica Carroll for this one in the number 21. Connor Breton just, as I was stating earlier, tire where you get out of the groove, it's going to cost you. Here comes Zimmerman to the inside with Brianna Carroll. It seems as Breton just got a little too loose, or the tires bit him in the butt. As Zimmerman crosses right up ahead of him, Brianna's right up there. Joseph Clark to the inside of Monica. Coming to checkered flag. Joe Cole still ahead there. William Duncan Zimmerman. He will take third. He will take third. Brianna Carroll just barely takes over. Connor Breton by 0 0.04 seconds over Connor Breton for the win. Tomorrow they will be we will be live from Pocono here on the W here on the DJ Becker Show live stream podcaster. My name is DJ Denberger. I have been broadcasting this race to you guys. Congrats, Joe Cole. We will see you guys tomorrow.